a bank, a device maker, and a building supply company on this week's top stock pick list. Shiraz, we're going to start with you. You've got the bank. Regions Financial, a uh, big regional bank, uh, more on the southeast side, Alabama-based, a lot of operations in Texas, Florida. Uh, a long time laggard. Uh, off camera, uh, Todd was telling us that was his bank. Uh, not very happy with his performance, but it's getting better. <laughs> they they were a laggard for a very long time. They were uh, the, the last ones to pay back the TARP money. That's right. Mm -hmm. they, they, they loaded up on, on real estate-related investments uh, right at the top. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that brought them down. They had all of their key metrics that we look at for banks uh, in terms of net charge-offs, in terms of capital adequacy. All of those uh, were the worst of the regional large-cap banking peers. Uh, but that story is turning around. So don't switch your bank. Okay. <laughs> uh, and uh, it's the, uh, the, the portfolio is a lot leaner now. The capital uh, is, uh, is, is, is just fine. Uh, they are, they're starting to return their capital as well. They raised their dividend a little bit. They announced a buyback. Uh, so the, uh, the, the net margins and all the, all the key ratios for the bank are looking up. Uh, valuation is relatively attractive too compared to other peers. Uh, so in this, this broader uh, backdrop where we were talking about what has worked in the last six months and what may work in the next six months, uh, if we do get, again, the ifs and, ifs and buts thing, uh, this, uh, this, this continued upward trend in, in yields and interest rates, then you need to be in finance, you need to be in banks, uh, and regions is about as good uh, as you could get uh, in the sector. So overall, uh, a very interesting pick for uh, for the coming times. Okay, Brian, the device maker, what kind of devices? Uh, immersion Technologies, uh, IMMR is the ticker. It was a Zach's rank number two a couple weeks ago, but it was uh, there for only a fleeting few days. Uh, but I've kept my eye on it since and want to alert everyone to it now. Uh, you know, I, I selected this stock, uh, I think Wednesday or Thursday of last week. This morning, um, the stock's off about 7%. Uh, we see that there is a, a big sale of stock from the CEO, about 120 or 130,000 shares. And that's a lot for a small cap, so you're going to you know, feel the pain right now from that. And that's kind of a, a vote of confidence issue. It's like, you know, if he, if he really believed that stock was going to go from 15 to 20, he would be holding on to it. But instead, it's now 15 to 14, and we're, we're questioning it. Uh, the idea, you sound a bit concerned here. <laughs> uh, I, there's a little bit of concern with that. You know, when you have that small cap company and you have that situation where the founder or the CEO is selling a large amount of stock like that, it does give you, you know, momentary pause. You know, in other stocks I've seen, you know, Zillow is one that had the exact same uh, thing that happened where the CEO sold 10% of his holdings and you were like, you know, what's going on here? Mm -hmm. You should really be holding on for the long term, you know, and he'd would have made off much better, but you know, at the end of the day, it's it's a financial transaction, and you know, you have to get past it, and you have to look to what the company does and what the earnings are. Okay. You know, the immersion technology is a thing where um, you, you, it gives uh, computer users a sense of touch. So you could be looking into a 3D screen, and you would feel the texture uh, based on their technology as to what the thing feels like on the other end. So if you're controlling a, oh. a robotic arm or something like that. You know, a lot of it's obviously in gaming right now, and I think that's just kind of the easiest, uh, the lowest hanging fruit for them. Mm -hmm. uh, but down the road, you can see that there's been a lot of different opportunities for that, whether it's, you know, in mining, whether it's in, you know, surgery, th those sorts of things. Anything where there's, you know, a high degree of technology involved, yep. where you're looking at something from, uh, you know, several miles away, maybe even in another room, but mm -hmm. where uh, you're using this technology to get an actual feel or sense of the uh, things right in you know your your you know your area of interest yeah. you know whether it might be a, a heart operation mm. or whether you might be you know digging through sand or, or something whatever. like that or yeah. whatever it is but it gives the actual sense there so it's a neat technology uh, and I like uh, like the idea that sounds interesting Todd you have uh, what. Uh, Building supply company. Yeah, they, they focus on flooring. It's Mohawk Industries, MHK is the ticker symbol, a, a global manufacturer of all kinds of flooring, uh, focused on residential and commercial construction. Obviously, uh, they're getting uh, an, in, an uptick from the recovering housing market here in the U.S. Uh, they actually reported very solid first quarter sales back in early May. They saw a 6% increase in net sales, you know, pretty solid there. But the real story here is they're expanding profit margins. The company was able to leverage its selling general and administrative expenses, led to a 140 basis point increase in operating margin, which led to a 34% increase in operating income. And that, that uh, uh, 
prompted analysts to revise their estimates significantly higher for both this year and next year, sent it to a Zach's rank of one, which is a strong buy rating, um, and very solid earnings momentum. The company's delivered a couple positive earnings surprises recently. And if you look at the price and consensus chart, um, analysts, like I said, have been consistently raising their estimates. Um, it's a Zach's rank of one. The industry that it's in is actually the number one ranked industry of all of the 265 industries that we rank. Wow. So very good earnings momentum story here. Uh, valuation's not too bad. They trade about 18 times forward earnings. Historically, they trade about 15 times. But given the, the earnings momentum and the growth potential here, uh, I think that's that premium's justified. Could be one to watch for the rest of 2013. All right. Thank you all for that. Don't forget, if you haven't gotten over to Zach's.com yet, these folks here and other strategists that we have at Zax.com write interesting articles, stock picks, and stock picking strategies for your consideration. Zax.com's homepage is where they're located. You can link right to them. If you're not there already watching this video, when you visit the homepage, check back often because they change often. With everyone here, I'm Terry Ruffalo.